so it's Saturday morning. Doesn't really feel like a Saturday, to be honest, which is good, because I don't feel like... I don't know, I guess it'll be bad for tomorrow when I'll think it's Saturday and it's actually Sunday tomorrow, but... Yeah, I'm going in for a full eight hours of work. And it'll be interesting. I'll most likely be the only one in there, but the editor said he might be stopping by. And then my boss could be stopping by at some point as well. But for the most part, it'll just be me chilling there alone doing my work. So I really, really want to try to finish the shot I'm currently working on and then start on another one. So, so yeah, I don't know. I can't really talk about it. So... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast, which is that OT cereal. The one I bought that had the heavy box. And then I'm gonna head out. And the only thing that makes it not feel quite like a weekday is that Christian is still sleeping. Because usually he's up and he would have been gone to work by now. But yeah, so it kind of feels like a Saturday, but not really. This is the best part of walking to work, just that final stretch where, I don't know, it's just nice. There's not a lot of people ever. There's even less considering it's Saturday, but got these cool hedges and the trees. It just, it's a nice little walk. So this is how much animation I have done. And this is how much animation I have left. Oh my God, like we're supposed to do 15 seconds a week, which is doable, but I got assigned this massive scene. It's the second longest scene in the movie. I have to animate it about 35 seconds a week if I want to make it in time for our final deadline. So, <gasps> cries forever. Oh my. Standing over by a wall so you don't really see anything. <laughs> it's just a tricky situation because I want the animation to be good because if my name's getting put behind it, I want to be proud of what I've done and be able to proudly say, I animated this, but if I have to animate at ridiculous speeds, the quality is gonna take a dive and someone's just like oh I'm trying to do this really huge scene a little bit quicker so I can focus on this other scene and put that shorter one on my demo reel but it's just really hard because I'm like no I'm trying to fly through this long scene but I just can't because I'm like no I gotta do better quality than this and it's like oh it's just like I'm being pulled both ways it sucks because I was like oh I'm just so happy with the 15 seconds a week deadline but then it, it totally got flipped because I'm supposed to do this entire scene, 155 seconds long. I need to finish it in about four to five weeks. So, <laughs> panic. Yummy. So I was just texting my brother because it's his birthday today and I was telling him that I'm at work today because I asked him what his plans were today and then I said how I'm just at work because I'm now working 48 hours a week. And he was like, yeah, mom told me. And then I was like, but I didn't tell my mom. <laughs> I haven't spoken to my mom and I just decided to do the working on Saturdays thing a few days ago and I didn't even tell her yet. So she probably just found out from my vlogs or something. It's really weird because I'll always go to tell her stuff and she'll be like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, oh, because she just finds everything out through my YouTube channel and then I have nothing new to tell her. It's kind of funny. Alrighty, so I just got off work and I actually wasn't there alone all day because around 10.30 or 11, my boss came in because he had a meeting and then he left and then the editor ended up coming in in the afternoon because it turns out he had some last minute stuff that the boss wanted to get done, so he came in and he's still there. He said he's probably gonna be there all night. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. But man, I am so tired. I even drank coffee because I started to doze off and it helped me to not doze off, but I still felt really tired and I still do my eyes. I just want to close so badly. It's ridiculous. I feel like it's three in the morning or something. <laughs> but uh, anyways, just on my way home. And then I get tomorrow off. I don't know what I'm gonna do in terms of live streams though. Like, I'm considering doing one tonight, but I don't know. <gasps> Ugh, my schedule's gonna be ridiculous. I always wanna just crawl in here and take a nap or something. It just looks so nice. All right, so I'm home now. And I think I'm gonna do a live stream. I'm gonna do a gaming live stream today. And Christian and I decided we're just gonna get Subway for supper because he didn't have anything ready when I got home. So 
Subway's really quick to get, so he's just got out of the shower, and then we're gonna go run to Subway, and I'm gonna set up the live stream, and we're gonna play some Mario Party 7 together. Cause I said to him, I was like, I don't know if I wanna live stream or if I wanna just hang out with you tonight. And he was like, well, why don't we play Mario Party and stream it? And I was like, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna work on that little number two animation. I just remember someone commenting or like, they thought it was funny because it was a number two animation and I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that I said that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna animate myself pooping. No, okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna make a live stream out of that when I work on it tomorrow. But first we have to get groceries, do laundry, and then I'm gonna live stream. And the live stream will just help me, keep me focused on the animation so I actually finish it. It's gonna be really simple, but I thought I might as well live stream and hang out with you guys. So double live stream. I worked six days this week and then two live streams. That's that's ridiculous, but it'll be fun times. All right, so we're just doing final setup for the live stream. Basically just pulling up the couch and table and we're ready to go. And I just thought I would say this before I forget. No, up there. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, earlier today I ordered more button parts and I'm super pumped because I haven't had any button parts since Anime Revolution of last year and so. <laughs> I can finally make more buttons and I'm super excited. So I ordered 2,000 button parts and what sucks is I really wanted to pick it up in person because last time I did they knew who I was and I just kind of wanted to say like a little hello and thank them for giving me a coupon code but they're only open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and I work. I mean I suppose I could have picked them up before work except that didn't cross my mind for some reason although I'm starting work early soon, so I don't know. Anyways, I just decided it'd be best if I just got them shipped to me. It cost me 16 bucks to get it shipped to me, which I thought wasn't that bad. But one thing I noticed, they totally redesigned their website and they increased their prices. Before, if I ordered 2,000 buttons, it was nine cents a piece. So it was like 180 bucks plus tax. But this time they're 12 cents a piece. That's a pretty big jump. So, I don't know. It's still decent, it's still only 12 cents a button, but from nine to 12, is, that's a high percentage increase. So I was kind of sad about that, but I still have my coupon code, which saved me 10%, so that was okay. But yeah, getting more button parts is an exciting thing, so I should be here within a week, like five business days at most, and it is the weekend, so they're probably not gonna ship it till Monday. So yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, so we just played the first round of Mario Party. We did 20 turns on the Chain Chomp level, and that's the one where you ride Chain Chomps to stomp on people to steal their stars. Christian kind of destroyed us. You start, everyone starts off with five stars. He ended up with nine, then won two bonus stars for a total of 11. I was only at two stars, but on my last turn, I squashed all three other players, so I was at five, and then I didn't get any bonus stars. So I think I was, what were the star tallies? like? Probably five, five, something lower than five, and then Christian had like 11. So he, he kicked our butts. Is that my controller? Oh. That's has to be, that has to be. And uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Christian kicked our butts, but we're gonna play a game. I think we're gonna do Pagoda uh -huh. Peak. And I can't so. do random. Since there's a stream delay, you can watch an instant replay of what I just did. <laughs> Christian doesn't even wanna go. You have to, okay, the timer starts. Oh wait, I, I skipped mine. Mine's already done. But anyways, there's like this timer, and you say start, and it's like, oh, your start. target is seven seconds. Oh. Stop. That's not that bad. Oh, no, that's normal. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the timer starts and you have to get to a certain number of seconds, but then it covers the timer and you have to count in your head and say stop when you think it should stop. And I was 0 .01 seconds off. <laughs> That's like almost as close as you can get because you could get right on, but dang. <laughs> this is intense. Christian's betting all of his 64 coins on this mini game. Yes. It's actually a really easy game. Three cards only? Orange, grape, strawberry. Orange, grape, strawberry. Orange! Grape, strawberry. Damn grape, it! Strawberry. Grapes! Ichigo. Strawberry! Dang it! <laughs> that was, that was Wait, we're wasting it. 
I told him to test out the Ichigo theory, which is like, we were wondering what would happen if you said Ichigo instead of strawberry. Like, would it count as being the right word? Or does it only recognize the English words? So, <laughs> you didn't do it, dang. Yeah, that mini game's pretty darn easy. So he just, he just bet 100, or sorry, he bet 64 coins, so now he gets 128. Little doofus. So Christian's gone because he wanted to buy more booze and so I decided to show off my costumes because I always play Mario Party as Daisy and I actually made a Daisy costume for Halloween of 2010 and my friend made a peach costume and so I bought this yellow dress from Value Village and then I sewed all these bits on by hand because <laughs> we didn't have a sewing machine so uh, yeah, this is like foam. This is a little marble rock thingy. Um, this These designs on the sleeves were actually already there. And as you can see, I cut the sleeves because my arm was too fat for the sleeves. This is actually not zipped up right now because Christian's not here to zip it for me. And I don't even know if it would zip up. Like, I was slimmer when I first made this. So. But yeah, I, I did it. I was just telling the live stream how ghetto this is. This was actually a long dress, like down to the ankles. And what I did was I didn't actually cut the dress. All the fabric is just underneath, folded under, and this is the actual bottom of the dress. <laughs> so if I took out all the stitching, it would be a full length dress. But like, because it's so puffy though, it makes me look fat, especially because this sits right on my waist. So my narrowest part is being thickened. So that doesn't help at all. And then I made this crown, which used to actually be really sparkly. It lost a lot of its glitter over the years, but um, just like little peep or peach. Daisy hat and then I just pinned it to my hair and my hair back then was brown so it kind of worked to be Daisy hair even though it was too long. Christian dressed up as Luigi by the way. And then I have little short white gloves to go with it. And then this is my Yuki Cross outfit. There's also wig and boots to go with it. Plus I made this huge scythe which I actually showed in my vlogs. I showed myself throwing it out because it was broken. <laughs> and I never did bring that scythe to a convention. I spent a lot of time making it and it was pretty darn cool. Like huge scythe but yeah so then this costume I actually just bought at a convention a long time ago and so it came with the jacket the skirt and then the white shirt and it came with a bow but it was really thin and ugly so I made my own bow and then yeah I had to track down boots and a wig for it and I actually also I I spent a lot of money on red contact lenses and then when I got them I put them on but every time I blinked they would pop off of my eye it was so lame. I was so excited. I was like, yeah, red contacts. I'm going all out for this costume. And then when I blinked, the contacts would just pop out. So sad. So heartbroken. <laughs> so I didn't have the scythe, didn't have the contacts, but whatever. So yeah, those are my two costumes. <laughs> I need to take this off. I'm really hot. I was thinking of wearing it for the rest of the live stream, but oh, it's just too hot in here to wear all these layers. So I'm just going to take it off. Oh my god, he's doing it again. He just bet 99 coins. Yes. Banana. Orange apple, orange apple. Orange. Apple. Apple. I can't believe he gave you three cards both times. Like, you little, little lucky duck. So just when I thought I had a chance to maybe win a game of Mario Party, Christian comes out of nowhere. Well, first of all, he didn't have any stars for the longest time. Then he all of a sudden had two, and we couldn't remember where he got the one star. We're like, what? I thought he just had one star. And no one in the chat remembers. Christian doesn't remember. I don't remember him getting this star. Plus, he has a bajillion coins from those microphone games, and he just stole a star from Wario. So now he has four stars. I also have four, but he has a bajillion coins. And so I'm like, ugh, Christian. I thought I had a chance at winning and now he's stealing it from me. You little turd, you little cheater. I know you using your telepathy to manipulate the game. Let's film the instant replay. It's a Bowser game, you lose all your coins if you lose. I was trying to sabotage Christian. I failed, but he ended up losing anyways. Goodbye, goodbye. All of your coins. How many was that? 160 some, 170 some. 170 some coins, oh that hurts. <laughs> so the stream was a success. It was really, really fun playing some Mario Party Christian. He won both games. A little turd. Anyway, that is it for tonight. I'm kind of excited for tomorrow, even though there's some boring things that need to be done. But I'm excited for the stream, so 
hopefully I can get all my other stuff done early enough and start that stream at a decent time. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. So this is much nicer. And there's really nice houses on the street too. See, it's just really pretty and it's a lovely walk. Snort. So I decided I'm just gonna eat supper now because it's seven o'clock and we're just having leftovers so it's not like I really need to wait for Christian.